Hello everyone, it's Edo4 of the podcast channel, and before we begin our video, Alex the Pengi would like to say hello. See you guys around in Louisiana, goodbye, and cue the theme song. Talking fun with Edo. Welcome to the show. Hello everyone, it's Edo 4 Podcast Edo, and this is my 20th episode of Talking Fun with Edo, and for this episode, we have Keep Down for Heart, aka Aaron, for my 12th interviewee guest, and on that note, let's start off with the interview. Also, before we begin this interview, um, here is, once again, another warning sound because this is going to be, like, a very serious episode and also, like, a trigger warning as well, so, play! And now, let's actually move on to the interview. Here we go. Hello, everyone. It's Edo4, Podcast Edo. And what we have here is the 20th episode with the 12th interviewee, Keep Down for Heart, a.k.a. Aaron. It's Down Heart. My name is Aaron. You know I'm not Karen. Every single day living in the abad. And what happened? I was just rapping. Then my soul started to go. And then I was on a road. To one more, my life went. I'm proud to send. You know that I am still chilling like a peasant. In the streets, fill the feces. You know what it is, man. I'm the just a uh, different kind of species. Up in the gym, I like to swim. And then see that pussy. And then go, boom, boom, boom. With my cock. I'm on the clock. I'm on the clock. You know what it is, and I'm fucking stuck. <laughs> I don't know. I was just stuck. Uh, here we go. No. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so before we get to it, uh, I would like to ask, what was your um your reaction when you heard that Snoop Dogg was revamping uh, Death Row and did the, not only the collaboration with Eminem, but also the... Uh, Oh, the Super Bowl halftime show. Oh, man, dude. It was unexplainable. Like, just un- unexplainable the way that my particularly, my particular, the particular thought that I had initially was that Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre were going to bring some old nostalgia, but they brought some new and old nostalgia back. Mm. And I didn't think that they would do songs as back as the. The, the Chronic 2001, I thought they were going to do new songs, but they, they managed to do that. But I feel like um, some of their reputations just aren't what, what it was to make kids think that they're cool again, you know? Because I, I feel like they I feel like that kind of persona of them being hardcore thugs and gangsters and, you know, all fuck you, so I still don't give a fuck attitude is kind of worn off. So... Right. You know, I don't know. It's it's, it's 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 just such a debate. It's dubious. Hmm. Speaking of debate of Eminem, uh, it's now been twenty years since he dropped the uh, Eminem show. Um, how, how, how was uh, how, how was your reaction to that? Oh, uh, my reaction was just like, oh my gosh! <laughs> it was just like, oh my gosh! You know, it it, it, it was pretty. It, intense uh i heard one of those songs and i I was just like blown away by the the artic the artistic point that he was at you know right it kind of it's in it's parallel to what i said the last time we were here you know because i was saying that i didn't like it but now that i listened to it and get more thoughts about it I, i thought as a Unique artistic standpoint. That's what I thought about it. Gotcha. So, um, now our first questions come from uh, Disneyland Resort Ambassador, and they have asked us, how many years did it take for you to make music, and can you speak French? Oh, um, I can't speak French uh, other than voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? 
<laughs> That's know, straight up from the Moulin I, Rouge. I can say that. I can say that, but I can I can see a nasty little Okay. You know, uh, and things like that, but. I know that if I were to apply myself, I could speak it, but I can speak some German though, so mm. get some German. Um, like, uh, hello, ich bin Aaron und du bist. Right, right. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you'll say, uh, uh, you'll say, Guten Tag. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, da. Und, und du. <laughs> yeah. Wait, didn't you live, like, in a place of, uh, in Belgium, like, in France for a while? Yeah, I did. I lived in Belgium actually, and it was uh, it was quite the time of my life. I can remember when I first got there, I didn't like it. I was like, oh no, I don't, I don't want to come because my mom, she kind of forced me to be there, and because I got in trouble in school, I I participated in a food fight. So since that, I had to move to one with my mom in Belgium, and then. I went to Belgium and then I didn't know anybody. But then when I went to school, it was different because I was I was messing around with some with all the you know I was trying to mess around with the Italian girls, you know, the Croatian girls and shit like that. And that was in Belgium, but I was a cool kid. I was skinny too. Right. It was pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, and I remember this one time. Um, oh man, it, it's I remember this one time I smoked with the I because I I smoked with the Croatian girls and shit like that. And and even this German girl Erica, she got me drunk. It was so freaking crazy, man. Like I, I just did a lot of crazy stuff. Also, from the note of the like, how many years did it take for you to uh, make music? It took about like, uh, <laughs> it took about three years. I would say three years. Because I wasn't like my first year of doing it. No, actually, more than that, four years, man. Because my first, mm. my fourth year of doing it, that's whenever I started to grow more mature. Because I got into Tupac phase, and because of this phase, I started acting like Tupac and saying shit that I didn't even know what about it, you know, things like that. And yeah, that's that's why that's 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 why the year after that I matured. Understandable. Um, yeah. So our next question comes from Ty, the railroad guy, and Fritz the Frog, and they have come up with, um, how did you come up with the name Down Heart for Life, and what year did you came up with that name? Oh, so Down Heart, I just got the name from this one girl, and um, it's Down Heart, she had a different meaning to it. I won't say what it was, but <laughs> secret, you know. Right. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> we did that. I did that, and then I looked up the actual definition of down heart. <laughs> and um, apparently it said that it's a person that was looked down upon. Right. Now, I like this concept because you can learn a lot from being the court jester and being the clown and no one wants to be around you. Right. So, uh, so you can learn a lot being doing those things and then you'll become more self, self-servant. Right. You'll, so, yeah, is that, is that yeah, so That's about right, yeah. You'll be more, you'll be more having an attitude, like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so from uh, James Gilbert, he has asked, uh, how do you make music? How do I what? How do you make music? Oh, oh, okay, so how I make music is, I just start, what do you, what do I do? I mean, it's, I, I just pretend like I'm Dr. Dre, <laughs> and then I start making I, and I, that's not a lie. I, I pretend like I'm Dr. Dre. I'm like, right. all right, what would Dre? Well, I, I think like whenever I'm making a beat, when Edo, he's gonna feature. I hope he featured a beat. One of my beats on this thing is supposed to be in the beginning. And if you heard that beat, that's my beat. And if you want, if you like it, we can collab, you know. And then we can do all, all kinds of cool shit. So yeah, that's for anybody and everybody. Right. Um, what was like a motivation that helped you create music and what is, what would you like your music to do for the society that is around all of us? Um, 
really, I just hope that, gosh, it just doesn't matter, it just doesn't matter to me, you know, it's music, music can, can be anything, and it could be something that I would have never even expected, and so mm -hmm. that's the whole beauty of it. Right. That's that's what I liked about music was that it hit me with unexpected things. Mm. You know, so if I say so I'd rather not say what what, you know, I I feel that music should do because music music should be able to do anything. Right. It's right. just that creative. Oh do you feel me? You're, I feel you, man. Exactly. I feel you. Feel you. Feel you. Me? I feel you. you feel me? I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> Virtual punch. <laughs> uh <laughs> A next question from Lana Chen. She is asked, uh, "Did you go to Full Sail University?" I, I I wish I was. I, I wish I go. I went inside the school more often, mm. but I I just um. Uh, it just. It didn't really work I, out. I, I kept on party. I party too much, you know. Mm -hmm. I parted too much, and I just wasn't focused on school because it was on online. Right. So I decided to. So then I then I had to move out of my apartment. So right. then I, I went to um, what's it called, uh, um, San Antonio, Texas, which was the right. worst decision of my life. And uh, San Antonio is your uh, born. You were born and raised there, right? Excuse me. No, I was born in a small town called Altus, Oklahoma. Mm. So it's it's up north. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Altus, Oklahoma is up it's up north, and it's just so crazy, man. Like everybody there is so crazy. Yeah, so even even <laughs> what's going on uh, in it lately. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, uh, a person I interviewed last time, which we'll get to him as well. Aim Pang eighteen. He's planning on moving there to. Because if I remember, he was originally from New Jersey, and then during the full cell time when I was there, uh, he was in Florida, and he's planning on coming to uh, Texas soon. Texas, wow, man! There's so many people moving to Texas. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> um, I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I wish that there was more girls over there that were willing to have sex, <laughs> but it just. Doesn't matter, but dude, all those, yeah, it's just crazy. Right, right. So Robert Shane Burns has asked, uh, "What was your favorite song in general? Uh, it could be, um, it could be in general, or even like a song that you made, or what was your? Oh wait, I'm sorry. So what was your favorite song in general and do you have a favorite song that you have made and released on your own? There we go. Oh, uh, one of my favorite songs, uh, right now I'm in the mood for some rock and actually this is a kind of exclusive of what I do mm. listen to. So here it goes. Mm. Hold on. I wonder if you can see it. All right. Whoa. So, uh, a vinyl yeah. collection. Yeah. This is what I listen to. Mm. A little Guns and Rose. This is an original pressing, by the way. It's pretty nice. Cool. That's my turntable right there. Mm. We can't really play the song, though. Can't really play the song. Yeah, we can't play the song, but this is part of my collection. Right. Okay. Um. On that note, okay, this one is just from a own question uh do you have uh and this possibly also goes with casey bushmeyer asks uh do you have any other artists that's in your field and uh how do they support you i have one his name is illy ill and he's pretty damn dope you know i know this is all kid we we did music together and stuff like that so it was uh so uh, it was pretty interesting how we evolved and as a friend. Mm. So if we have that. You know, I have Edo, of course. You know, Eddie. Uh, I have um, very limited, very limited right now. I have a guy named Marvel. Mm. Drink. Uh, very, very limited. I see. Hold on I, for I, a second. I feel I name me on myself. You know, because if I if I would like some other people to be in my, in my artist range. 
then it's just not it's it's not going to be um, and, I, and anything of an accomplishment. It'll, but it might be a success. But I it just feel you. Accomplish anything from. I feel you. Um. So now we're going into the parts of favorite and first. So um. Splash McFrog has asked, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is, uh, right now, uh, pizza. <laughs> and I mean, that's been my favorite for a long period of time. <laughs> Look at this shit. Smile. <laughs> uh... Alan from Sesame Street has asked, what is your favorite musical instrument and what instruments do you play? My favorite musical instrument has to be the drums and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, the face. <laughs> Your favorite instrument is the drums, and that's the instrument you play. So, yeah, and then to hear is the drums too. It's such a complex sound in this record. Black sound. They're fucking awesome. Oh, like, that's you not know, your regular voice. You know how to go home, You know how to go home, <laughs> Oh my god. Um. Do you have uh, a favorite type of day to create anything? <laughs> what? Do you have a favorite type of day to create anything? <laughs> okay, basically, any day is your favorite day. Oh my it god. Would be nighttime. It would be nighttime. Nighttime because <laughs> during the nighttime you can do so much shit. Right. And it's just. <laughs> you good? My mouth is dry. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. What is your favorite color? Oh, yeah. My favorite color is just. Really has to be the the <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought it was pink. Black now. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, all right. So um. Okay, so our third to last question we have is, if you could give advice for your younger self, what would you say and what would you uh, do for your younger self? Damn, dude. Stop jacking off the porn. Okay, now we're back <laughs> to the... The, the aim paying 18 and um he has asked uh are you planning on making any music videos and if not what is your favorite music video of all time <laughs> um i don't unless if you want to <laughs> like if you want to make a music video then come on go ahead let's just let's make this happen but um we're both editors yeah, so you know that, he that, that's that's kind of a bizarre question, unless if you want to go ask somebody to go do a video with them, you know? It makes someone anxious and pretentious. Do you have, like, a favorite music video by any chance? Yeah, 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 I do. Um, I, I said left behind my slip now, but I'm right. actually going to go with... I'm actually going to go with It's So Easy by Guns N' Roses right now. Okay. Like a lot of hard there's a lot of hot girls in that music video, so I'm like, oh my gosh. Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> so, our very, our very last question before we end this for the, for the podcast special of first year, um, 20th episode, and also you're my 12th guest. 
is um what projects do you have coming up soon and how can we all find you if we want to collaborate or anything similar to that nature oh shit so i am currently looking for people to rap with just to feature on a few beats and i have a sound cut of all my beats right now they're not for sale but they sound pretty dope some of them and Edo is going to feature one at the beginning of this video and I hope right. you listen to it then you're 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 loud and surprised right and also you uh you got instagram too so that's also the best thing uh yeah. going forward as well yeah all right well now we're about to end this podcast and i'll see you around goodbye uh, bye. Bye. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the 20th episode of Talking Fun with Edo, along with my 12th interviewee of Aaron, aka Down for Heart. And also, on that note, thanks for all the questions you guys have sent to him as well. Um, coming up again, as you can see from here these are all the stuff that i'm planning to upload for the rest of the season one for the first anniversary of talking from the edo another thing coming up next is the q a for myself that was done by the help of down for heart and later down the line for my main channel is the berries kobo report the workshop of berries my fourth Hello project. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Talking fun with Edo Podcast.